Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I had a little bit of time to craft this morning, so I thought I would take you along with me. <laughs> so I have like an abundance of paper scraps because when I print off an Etsy label, then I have the whole other half of the paper that's blank because I mean, I'm not like a lace store. I don't get multiple orders at one time, so I'm printing labels off one at a time. So I save all of the um, blank half of those uh, labels. And then I just create a bunch of these. I just sit down and cut them up and fold them and then sew them down the middle. So I just have these ready to go. So I thought I would make a couple of those today. And I, of course, I'm gonna use the beautiful digitals from Ula La Vintage Treasures, which you can find a link to her shop below. But I'm also gonna use the beautiful embellishments from Angel Dream Crafts. So um, I will have a link to Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy, below also in my description box. I love both of these places and they keep me, uh, they keep my creative juices flowing. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the uh, Pink Parfait Cafe kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And it is, it might seem like that's the only kit I use, but I actually do have some great plans with some of the other beautiful kits available. It, this just happens to be my favorite. But the beautiful thing about Doreen's kits is they all can work with each other. So I, I love, love that. But today I'm using the uh, Pink Parfait Cafe. And, uh, I went ahead and just printed it out on cardstock and paper and made these little booklets front and back. So I cut them so that they would, these would fit inside and they do fit really well. <clears throat> but I think I would like to uh, round the corners of these guys. I'm not gonna round the corners of the paper, but I shouldn't need to. I got this really cute um, corner rounder from my mother-in-law and I love it. I do have a little um, punch one, but I kind of like this with the squeeze handles. Very cute. All right. So even though these aren't rounded and these are, you can't tell when you fold it up. You just won't be able to tell. But I also do want to ink up the edges and for the past couple years, I have really been feeling this uh, tea dye, <laughs> tea dye stain. I love it. So that's what I'm going to use today. For the longest time, I used Vintage Photo. Um, and I still do love Vintage Photo, but it's a little darker than what I like. I really prefer this tea stain, at least at this stage, right? <laughs> I feel like things are always changing and evolving, but right now I'm a fan of this tea stain. And I'm gonna do both sides. Right. Yes. And I'm also trying this new angle with my camera, but my hand is literally under my tripod, so I'm really trying not to bump it. <laughs> A, a little awkward, but not too bad. And it's an absolutely beautiful day in Maine today, and I need to get out there and weed the garden. You know, it seems like such a chore sometimes, but when I'm out there doing it, I love every minute of it. And I'm going to go ahead and do this part too. So let me get that out of the way. Although I might need that again. So now it's all stained up. I just really love that. And I'm thinking I want to put a pocket here. And this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts I think would just make a beautiful pocket. But I really, really, really like to sew my pocket in. So I think what I'll do is go sew that in and then come back and show you what we're gonna do next. All right, now my pretty little pocket is in. Isn't that so cute? I just love that. I did create some of these uh, from the Pink Parfait Cafe, the collars. Aren't they just gorgeous? 
I actually shrunk them down and then I trimmed them up so that they'd fit on the front, but also I'd be able to put some layers behind them. Because, you know, I love to do that. But I do want to... Um, I'd like to ink them before I sewed them, but I forgot. But I'm going to go ahead and try to push that out of the way and ink them a little bit now. If I get a little bit of ink on the fabric or the lace, really not that big a deal to me. To me, anyway. All right. I like that. I also um, took some strips of the paper, like my off cuts from when I was, uh, you know, cutting everything out. And then I sewed a beautiful piece of lace from Kim's shop. It's a, it's a wide lace. It's so pretty. You can see it. And I didn't leave any out, of course, to show you. Goodness gracious. And I'm pretty sure that's going to go there. But I want... Look at this lace. I absolutely love this lace. So let me see. Um, and that's my husband making a ruckus downstairs. <laughs> so, sorry about that. And then I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to put it right here and then have it wrap around on the other side. Kind of like that. So it looks like I want to cut right here. Oops. Let me get on my finger protector so I don't burn myself. Yeah, and I just want it to be able to wrap around. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the front here. And thank goodness I remembered to turn on my hot glue gun. I don't always. Who else is with me? You forget to put on your hot glue gun and then you go to use it and you're like, oh, it's stone cold not on. Okay. But I've tried to get in the habit of that's the first thing I do when I come up to my craft room. I turn on the hot glue gun just so it's ready. And sometimes I don't even use it, but I know that it's, it's there and ready if I want to. Yes. Okay. Love it. Did cover up that flower, but that's okay. So now I'm going to wrap it around. So I am famous for forgetting to add the tie <laughs> before I embellish the front so it'll hide the tie. So while I'm remembering that right now, before I add all the bits, I um, dyed and crinkled some seam binding. And I'm going to use it. So let me get some cut off there. I love dyed crinkled seam binding and I haven't really been using it lately because I've been just using the sari silk which is also amazing but I really do love the seam binding so I'm going to attach that down and then I'm going to tie a knot in the end because the thing about seam binding is it frays so I'm going to put that right here And that I'm gonna do that on the other side. There we go. Very nice. So I gotta tie the knots in. Because that's the that's the one thing about the seam binding. It will just fray. Um, fray itself away and disintegrate right in front of your eyes so I don't want that but I love the look of it it's just so pretty okay there we go and I did I think this was an avocado dye um, pretty pretty okay so that's on so now I'm safe to <laughs> embellish I'm just glad I remembered. So let me get one of these. 
I would like to put that on the front and not the back. Goodness gracious. So I think I'm going to put that right on top of that lace, but just leave some peeking out there. Yeah, I think so. I just love these little snippets of um, paper covered with lace. Yes, please. Then I want to put, I couldn't decide if I wanted to put rhinestone cup chain or flatback pearls, but I think I'm going to go with the pearls, even though rhinestones and pearls go, either one goes so great with this kit. Um, sometimes I like the flatback pearls better just because they're not going to snag anything because those rhinestones, you catch them on some lace and it's a problem, so I'm gonna go with pearls this time. And maybe add some rhinestones here and there. All right, so I'm gonna just hot glue this on. Um, hot glue is my favorite glue. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little tickle in my throat, pardon. <coughs> I see so many people using so many different um, glue. There's so many glue options, but I have to be honest, hot glue is my favorite because it holds so fast, you know? I mean, of course, I'm not gonna use it to glue down something heavy, but um, for most of these projects, hot glue is just fine. So, so cute. I love that. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping this. All right, I'm going to go with this one because it's the first one I picked up, and they're all beautiful. So I'm thinking kind of like that is what I want to do. I want it more towards the front, though, because I'm going to have um, a bunch of stuff dangling off the side of this. So let me do this. Oh, my goodness, y'all. They're finally... I'm so, 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 so thankful. They're finally going to put fiber optics on my little mountain in Maine. <laughs> so I am so excited to have better internet. That means I can do longer videos and I can do, I'm hoping it means that I can do some lives where I'm not blurry. I'm very excited. Plus, I wanted to mention, so I will be doing lives uh, with Doreen in her Facebook group, which I will put a link below to her uh, Facebook group. And I will also be doing lives um, on Angel Dream Crafts channel. So I will put a link to Kim's channel below too. I'm kind of excited because they're going to start doing lives with their design team members. And I am like, yes. So I'm getting my high-speed internet just in time <laughs> and I'm just praying that works out so I mean this is already so cute so cute okay so now what do I want to do mm, let's embellish it a little bit with some of this beautiful <gasps> bridal trim from Angel Dream Craft I know I want to use a flower to cover up the seam binding on the back and this looks like a good one here let's do that snippity snip okay which way is up this way is up and I think I'll just put that right there love love so cute all right so i think i also want to put some of this trim on the front maybe one of these scallops let's see how that looks Do we want to put a scallop? Oh, why not? That's so cute. Yes. Yes to that. <gasps> Adorable. And 
one of the little flowers. I did make an example piece and I'll show you in just a minute. Um, and I like having this, just a little bit of embellishment from uh, these bridal trims because they're all sequins and they're just so pretty. Okay. Now I do want a bow. Do I have my bows out? No. Let me. I have to move the computer to open the drawer. I can use one of these little bows. Adorable. Yes, please. Everything's better with a bow. Okay. Mm. Now I could add a little bit of bling. I don't know if it needs it. It's kind of cute that way. On my example piece, I did put a little bling right here. But I kind of like it just like that. So let me show you my example piece because I'm not going to have time to do this binding um, because my internet is still such that I can only have a 15 minute video. But <laughs> there is a light on the horizon and I'm so excited. So this was the example piece that I made basically the same way just I cut out some different snippets from this and I used one of Kim's um, pink sugar heart embellishments there and um, I put this rolled uh, rolled rose on the back. Isn't this paper beautiful? I love it. All right so let me show you what I did uh, for the binding. I just tied, I just tied this in. So this can slip in and out of here, no problem. And I use seam binding and this really fuzzy fiber yarn that I love it, I love it. I don't remember who gifted that to me, but I absolutely love it. So that's just tied on. I tied a knot at the top and that just holds the paper in. And then I made these charm dangles. They're so cute. So it's one of these beautiful pink, crystal charm drops I don't know how they're listed in the store but I'm sure it's not that <laughs> but aren't they pretty they're so pink and I like I need I need to order these in bulk because these need to be on all the things I used her Eiffel Tower charm which is also so pretty and then I just um, used one of her uh, ribbon rolled roses um, as a charm too and I love the way that is just hanging off the edge of that but here is one not put on so you can see what it looks like aren't they cute I mean these are just cute charm dangles they're so adorable so I would love to know what you think of this little tiny notebook using up my scrap paper and the beautiful digitals from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. So please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. Be sure you go check out all the links below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.